Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, you folks, sampler video series videos I've been doing for a while. Don't worry over there, child food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff. And folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, yes, Falcone Punch, but do Falcone Dance? Do Falcone Read? Do Falcone Dream? These are the questions we have to ask ourselves, folks. But anyway, I'm in the truck. You can see I'm in the truck. I'm also wearing a cool shirt. Folks, when I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt. What cool shirt I'm wearing today? Boom! Retro PlayStation shirt. It's a, it's almost, it's almost a bit gauche because these have become pretty, I've seen quite a few people with these. My contrarian nature is to kind of veer away from things that are popular. But ultimately, folks, I love the original PlayStation. So I don't give a shit if it's gauche. I love the original PlayStation. Uh, it's the first system that I ever went over there and bought with my own money. Granted, it was Christmas money, but I still, you know. So I, I've got a, a bunch of PlayStation gear. I am a bit of a PlayStation fanboy. I admit it. But anyway, yes, I am inside the truck, as you can see. Why am I inside the truck? Why am I wearing the PlayStation shirt inside the truck? Well, so I decided <clears throat> I didn't go over there normally when I'm in the trucks because I was on my way to a place and I found a thing to review. Today, that wasn't the case. I went over there. I, uh, I woke up sometime in the afternoon. It's not weird. I work at night. But I woke up uh, in the early afternoon and... I was, I wanted to grab something to eat. I didn't want to eat something that was around the house. I've been eating, going through my supplies around the house the past few days. And I was thinking about it and I decided, okay, I'm going to go out to eat. Where should I go? What should I get? Decided I'd go over there and go back to, boom, don't worry, you're going to get a better boom. Uh, this is Pasta To Go, which Pasta To Go, I've done a couple of videos of theirs. They are a pasta place near where I live that is inside of a gas station where you can get <coughs> pasta to go. And I, I went over there, I tried them out for the first time, I think last month, got the shrimp Diablo and the chicken Alfredo. I decided, man, I'm going to go back. I'm going to get some other stuff, try it out. I get some food, plus I get to review. Works for me on both accounts because, well, I'm kind of fat. And on top of that, I do review stuff. So, this one that I've got right here that I'm going to open very carefully and hopefully not go over there and ruin the shit out of my PlayStation shirt. Hooray! All right, going to be kind of hard to... Ah. This, folks, is rigatoni bolognese. I am almost certain that I've had bolognese in regards to something. Uh, and mind you, this is clearly... I mean, I got it from a place in a gas station. I doubt that it's going to be super traditional. I know a little bit from watching food stuff. It's like a very, uh, obviously it's got a you know nice heritage to it and stuff like that. This is gas station bolognese, but doesn't mean it's bad. But we're going to find out how it is. Uh, where's the thing? There's the thing. Yeah. And I will say, cost 15 bucks. You get a good amount of pasta, so, and considering it took 15 minutes to go over there because I got two dishes, between this and the other one, it's not bad. 15 bucks, 15 minutes. All right, folks, let's, uh, let's get some pasta going here. Ooh, I, I mean, and I'll say this, man, I mean, it does what pasta's supposed to do. It doesn't seem like, like, you know, super cheapo pasta or anything, like, they, they seem to actually give a shit about what they're doing. Let's do some pasta. We got a big old chunk of cheese. Hum. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> first and foremost, the pasta seems to be cooked well. Uh, I'm not having any issues with it. It's, it's tender. If you want to call it that. Easy to eat. Tastes good. 
the uh, the bolognese sauce. Like I said, I can't speak to how traditional it is, but it's meaty. Uh, it's obviously tomato-based sauce. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's flavorful. It's even got a little bit of a depth to it. Like, I've certainly had, like, budget pasta items where, <clears throat> where, like, the red sauce and meat sauce they're using. There we go. Uh, where the, <clears throat> like I said, the, uh, the sauce that they're using, you can tell it's just an extremely basic, just get shit done sauce. That's, that's all there is to it. With this, that's not the case. There is definitely more to it than just the basic stuff. And everything else is done well. I mean, I, I like the, uh, I like the herbs that they use in it. Not only is it nice for a little extra taste, it's nice for a little extra texture when you get some of that. And you get the melted Parmesan over the pasta. Yeah, I mean, and the Parmesan, I'll say this too, it tastes like Parmesan. Like it's, again, even though it's a gas station item, i adjust my chair a little bit. I had to go over there uh, earlier today. I had a coworker who's going going over there and buying something, needed some extra space, so I gave him a lift. But we ended up having to push the seats all the way up and everything, so everything's a little bit thrown off. But yeah, I think that's the bit, the biggest takeaway. Is it? I mean, is it the best pasta I've ever had? No. Is it super traditional? Probably not. But in terms of not only did I get this from a gas station and it cost me $15, like it's not just good by like low grade standards. It tastes good. It's decent, very solid pasta, which again, it's just the fact that you get it from a gas station sounds a little bit weird. And mind you, like, I don't mean like it's pre-prepared stuff or anything. It's made to order. But, like, it's clear, like, even though the location's a little bit weird, it's way better than... And I don't even like to think of it in terms of, like, a lot of the, like, in-restaurant gas stations. Like, I've done, uh... Oh, what is it? I've done a number of videos for this one, um... Uh... Laredo Taco, which is another place that's inside of a gas station. And Laredo Taco's fine... And especially if you're going for gas station stuff, it's a fine option. This isn't that. This is actually good pasta, even if it's not the best quality of pasta. Like I said, it's not the best pasta I've ever had. It's flavorful. It's obvious that they took time with it. It's cooked well. And the ingredients seem to be, you know, fresh and good. Like, it doesn't taste like discount pasta. And I think ultimately that's... That's a great takeaway. Like, it's, it seems like it's damning with faint praise, but it's really not. Because pasta that you get from a gas station, by, by its very nature, should suck. But this doesn't. And not only does it not just suck, it's actually good. And it tastes good. Not just because you're giving it bonus points for being good by gas station standards. Like, it's actually a very solid dish. That, yeah, probably won't stand up to mama's own. But, you want some pasta? You want some pasta to go? If you're willing to go over there and uh, grab it from a gas station, this is a good option. Now, that said, would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Would I get it again? Potentially. The thing is, out of the three dishes that I've tried now, with this being the third... For me, the one that was my personal favorite was the Shrimp Diablo. I really liked that one. The Chicken Alfredo was perfectly fine. It was decent enough Chicken Alfredo. This one right here... I could kind of take it interchangeably with the Chicken Alfredo, depending on if I wanted something with a white sauce or something with a red sauce. I could kind of go either way. 
it wouldn't be my favorite dish, because like I said, at least so far, that's a Trim Diablo. But I could see potentially getting it again. Would I recommend it? It depends on who you are. Again, if you're, you know, like hardcore Italian growing up on, you know, super authentic food, it's probably not going to be to your standard. But, but if you're like me, where you're not that person, and I think that most people who, you know, they're probably not, you know, given the, given the circumstances. Yeah, man, it's, it's good. And I mean, I'm down with it. So I, I don't have any complaints for it. It's cooked well. It's tasty. You know, you can tell, like I said, you can tell there's effort. So for me, I, yeah, I like it. Let me go over there and put it back together. One of these will be my lunch because I have another one I'm going to review after this. Close. I don't know if that's going to close properly, but that's all right. We'll put you over there. All right. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Mind you, mental rest of the month. It's here. And, folks, if you could go over there and have yourselves a truly traditional bolognese rest of your life. I mean, like I said, I, I've never had traditional bolognese. But I imagine that's some bomb-ass stuff. Because if it's good enough to the point where not only has it persisted for, I'm assuming, a very long time. It's also gone over there and gotten, like, numerous, like, innumerable knockoff versions of itself. It has to be pretty good. Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity to your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. <clears throat> now, that said, folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to do. Granted, we do live in a world where we have pasta to go. How much better can it get? But even with pasta to go, life can be very frustrating, can be very stressful at times. When we run into those circumstances, it's important that we try not to be an asshole. Sometimes it's just going to happen. It's going to happen to me. It's going to happen to you. It's going to happen. But whew, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholes in our lives, and hopefully we can do better next time. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. You're going to watch this review that I have done here where I've gone over there and eaten the rigatoni bolognese. And maybe you're going to go over there and be like, you know what? You know what? My mom has the best bolognese recipe you have ever had. Okay, it's the best. You're going to go over there, you're going to go to your mom, you're going to be like, Mama, I watched this fat guy on YouTube, he was wearing a PlayStation shirt, he had some pasta to go, he's never had traditional bolognese. I think we need to go over there, we need to spread the gospel of true bolognese. Mama whips it up, it's a whole thing. Go over there, you start, I don't know, the bottling the stuff like it's ragu or, you know, it, but basically what it comes down to is it makes its way onto the store shelves. Y'all make the millions. Maybe I go over there in a couple of years time, once you've made the millions and I go over there, I do a little review of your wonderful, authentic bolognese on this very show. Crazier shit has happened. Or conversely, you could just go over there and have some really delicious spaghetti bolognese or whatever bolognese. Bye.